Now, Kieran, you were downstairs while all of that was going on. What do you make to it? I find it fascinating that there's a particular phenomena associated with the location. And let's be clear to the viewers at home, we're talking about doors banging that don't happen naturally. It's not just they're left open and they suddenly slam of their own accord. However, as a sceptic, you know what I'm going to say, it would be nice to have the full footage of the door so we can be 100% sure. But, you know, fascinating phenomena and let's see what happens at the next location. I mean, for me, I was there, it was, it was truly amazing to actually watch these massive doors just slam, knowing that there was nobody else behind it. And as you say, there was no, there was no, there's no natural explanation yeah, it's not for it. not a natural it. explanation no. for it at all. And I loved it, absolutely. So let's hope we get a little bit more of that uh, tonight. Well, join us after the break when we'll be joined by medium Chris Conway and find out what spirits he believes still roam Golden Grove Mansion. Welcome back to Most Haunted, the live series. I've brought my investigation team to the Golden Grove Mansion here in South Wales. It really is a box of delights. Um, absolutely fantastic. When you first walk into this place, you can just see what's ahead of you and you just think, I just yeah. can't wait to investigate yeah. it. It's all sort of crumbling and derelict, but it apparently, according to Leslie, has the most amazing history. Some not so good, some very good. And uh, as, again, Leslie's already mentioned, they're already thinking about doing something with this magnificent place for the good. So, Chris, again, walking into this fantastic place. As usual with a lot of the locations that we come to, there's always this sort of central feature of a magnificent staircase. Yes. Can you sense anywhere on the staircase or around this sort of hall area? The, the, the first thing that's, that's coming to me, is, it's quite strange, because as I'm walking in, I've got a spirit, um, a man named... John, but I've not got a second in you, but he's shown me that this staircase is here, but what he's shown me is a staircase here, and it's going up, and it's as it, it, if he's shown me somewhere else, mm -hmm. and, but he's telling me that he belongs here, but he's shown me, it's almost like a different, as if, I don't know if this has been, this place has been redeveloped or, or what, but he's shown me this, this different, as, a, as you walk in the door, it's a different door and it's a staircase leading right, right in front of you, which so is quite, here, it's quite confusing. So from here, a staircase mm -hmm. going straight up yeah, there? Yeah, he's shown me, he's shown me this staircase. Oh, and can you, can you quite, see this John? This John, um, quite, quite a small chap, he's, it looks, to, he's got, he's got sort of long hair, but it's very, at the top, it's very thin and, it's sort of straggly. Um, he's got like a, it's like a sort of grey suit, quite quite um, thick material that um, that, he, that he's wearing. From what and as time I say, period? Fifteen hundreds, I think we're looking oh, right, at here. Okay. Um, so when you say grey suit, what sort yeah, of suit are you talking about here? Yeah. I'm not very good with, with fashions, even for mm. older fashions. But it's like it's not like my suit. My suit's quite sort of thin, and mm. this this is like a sort of thick. It's, um, um, no, it's not a sack, but it's like that sort of material, as if it's like a sort of sack material, quite grisly and mm. rough. That's that's yeah. a sort of tweed, like a tweed sort of jacket. Yes, it's, like, it's, not, it's not tweed, but it's that sort of that sort of material. So it wouldn't be gentry then, or it, it wouldn't be of the upper classes in the tune, in, in that. Type that that's the thing. I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure he is, which is he's quite a. A confusing spirit because the, the way, as I say, he's shown me that rather than what, what's here mm. and the way he's dressed. Mm. But I'm pretty sure this guy is mm. upper class. Because mm. um, in that in those time periods, it would have been difficult, I suppose, to just to say a suit and decipher yeah. clothes and so on. So yeah. it's, it is a quite a difficult thing. Now we've come into a different room. It could have been once a dining room or I don't know, really, a library or anything. Yeah. Do you pick up what rooms used to be? Can you see them as they used to be? Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Uh, this I'm not seeing what it used to be, but as we did walk in here, there was a, another gentleman waiting for us. This gentleman, the first guy that we met was very pleasant, very sort of welcome, nice guy. This guy that we're meeting is... I'm going to say sick, as in very, very... As if, it's almost as if he was, he was like a torturer. If, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. but it's almost as if um, he, would, he would torture people and he would do really nasty things to people. And that, that's what this guy, and I've described this guy to you. Do, do you know, do you remember the films with the musketeers? Yeah. That's what this guy looks like. He looks like a musketeer. He's got like, this sort of white 
sort of thing round here, and he's got like a sort of velvety jacket and sort of velvety trousers, and he's got like sort of boots, mm -hmm. and he's got long dark hair. I'm not saying he has a musketeer, but that's the way that the sort of image that he's presenting himself to me to, to be. Um, the name with him. The, the, the name with him. Pretty sure this guy's name is Richard. Mm -hmm. I'm pre pretty sure. I'm not 100% with the first guy, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's Richard. And so when he's seeing us, does he want mm -hmm. to do terrible things oh, to yeah, us? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's just as we're, as we're coming in, we're on, we're on his land, and it's very much get, get off my land. And, and do you know how, how this gentleman died, or do you know how long he lived for, what age he passed over? Come on. Come on. No. No? He's basically... It's more to get us out than, than, than to communicate with me. Oh. And it's more, and the reason I'm saying he's like a torturer is because the things he's showing me, he's actually showing me the kind of things that he'd be doing. And well, the kind of things he's showing me. What, what's the, he doing then? The kind of things he's showing me, he's actually pulling somebody's hair out the roots. And that's the kind of thing he's showing me. He's, he's, they've got a man down, and they've got this man here, and they're pulling hair right out his head. And where would they have and done this? In this building? In this, bu in this building, so? yeah, I would say so. In this, this area. Um, very, very nasty character. And that's the kind of thing that he's showing me. And he's basically saying, if he don't get out, this, that's what's th this is what's going to happen to, oh. happen to you. Say, as we've been walking around, the MF meter has been um, varying around 10 milligauss. And normally when we've done derelict oh, properties, you might get two or three, and certainly we've got cabling around. But it's quite consistent, eight, nine, ten milligauss, which means there's still some wiring, and perhaps some live wiring. Well, there's in some no of electricity buildings. in this place at all. We're, we're having to use a generator to, so that we can use our, our, our cameras here. So, and light, so that is a little bit unusual. Yeah, it just means later on, maybe me going up to some of the upper rooms and just checking if there's any other sources up there. And I'll keep an eye on it. Just in case anybody's watching and think, what on earth is Doctor? Doctor, <laughs> he has got a stethoscope on. Yeah. Now, our sound guys have, 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 have kitted you up with this stethoscope, yeah. and we've actually put um, a microphone. Yeah, um, essentially everybody's familiar with a stethoscope. Um, they've rigged up a microphone in this and so that anything I hear through the stethoscope, for example, if there is tapping noise, um, Matt will be able to hear it and of course the truck will be able to get a direct feed from it. But dare I say, it will look very comical. It will look you silly. With, the, with, the, with your stethoscope in. So yeah. we'll have to put the laughing to one side, but hopefully we'll be able to hear the knocking and you never Brilliant. know, you might be impressed by I it. Might be. Okay. Can I say one yes, last thing, course. sorry? Just as we're standing talking there. I've had somebody else walk in and he's basically came through to me and he's happy to see me mm -hmm. and he's saying it's one of us. And this guy, I, I, I know we're in Wales, but this guy's Scottish. And this guy's well to, very well to do. He's got, he's got the, 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 the really expensive black suit on and it's very much as we walked in and he's got the, the broad Scottish accent, broader than mine, mm. and, he, he can, and he's very happy to see me and it's basically, oh, it's one of us, it's one of us. Mm. And this guy's really, um, re really him? happy. At the moment, I don't have a name for this guy, but I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure I will have names for this guy okay. later on because he's very happy to see well, me. Well, we've had knocking all day while we've been here and we can hear it now as we're talking. I I know a little bit of um, the history here because Leslie sort of shared it with me. Quite good. Uh, pretty good. Well done. On the way in, you talked about John. Now, there's lots of Johns. It's a very mm. common name. We have to be a bit wary. What I loved, you said, the staircase wasn't there, the staircase was there. And I can tell you that there was a lot of work being done to this property. Yeah. Although it's an old property, what you're seeing, I'm pretty sure, from what you're describing of the tweed clothes, uh, the hair... But would that have been, sorry to interrupt, tweed clothing in those times, in the 1500s? Would they have worn We're not that talking about 1500s. We're talking about the handover in about 1804. Ah, but you said 1500s. Yeah. Well, the 1500s. 1500s when the house first was, the only tweed that would have been worn at that time would have been um, not in this part of the world very easily, although there was some of that cloth mm. development. Yeah. When the staircase was, as you described, the yeah. later one, yeah. uh, now I'm quite interested in the change yeah. that's being shown to us. Yeah. So that's yeah. brilliantly well done yeah. on that. Um, then you talked about Richard. Didn't find a surname. I couldn't hear a surname. No, no I've not got one. Right. Well, all I can tell you is, with the torture and everything, mm. bang on. Mm. Mm. Nasty, nasty piece of work. Did you get a sense of his age? I didn't. I asked no, that, I, yeah. I, I yeah, I wanted to do what the answer yes, we know that one, yeah, don't so we? I'm wondering about that one as well. Um, and then you're coming to this last part. There is a Scot who's very influential, who's very well to do here, but you haven't given us a name yet. Just but no, he's definitely one of yours, yeah. or you're one of his. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic, and brilliant with the, the um, EMF. Fantastic.